What is going on guys? It's Z17 and today I'm back with another video and in this video I will be doing a God Squad reveal. So I did this about a month or two ago but some of you guys have been asking for me to reveal my new updated squad so that's what I will be doing. Obviously I don't have Anthony Davis yet but in the next week, I should have him. But then I'm also trying to grind out my career. Although, I still would not be surprised if I do have this AD over the weekend or something. We'll see how it all goes. But yeah, now let's get into this God Squad reveal. So, as you know, I have so many cards how many opals I have 21 galaxy opals although I could have up to 40 once I get Anthony Davis because I will sell all these cards that cost MT such as this Avery Bradley and stuff I will sell them all back like once I've got the AD and then I will be able to go by a whole lot. Now this no money spent squad costs I think 15 KMT. You will not believe it but it could cost zero MT but there's only one reason that it costs any MT although I will change that really quickly because I think I've got a better point guard I can add. So this is the god squad that I have um, it's pretty crazy. It costs zero MT. So at the point guard, I have Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. Now he can play the two as well, but six foot four is a bit undersized for the two. Obviously, I've put a diamond contract on him. But look at these stats. These are incredible. Great defense. Great speed. Great at everything, and his release is money so fast. 59 Hall of Fames, 2 golds. Look at all these badges, like he's not missing any crucial badges. So he's like basically missing 10 badges, but none of them are that important. And you get him from collector level. Next up, this Kobe Bryant. Um, six foot six two guard from the goat collection. He's got a diamond contract and he's similar to Dwayne Wade. He doesn't really have anything wrong within his stats or badges. Um, yeah, his release is strange sometimes because it does have a bit of a loading animation, but it's not too bad and you can adjust to it. So. Yeah, he's in my main squad as well. So, the next player is Galaxy Opal Glenn Rice. As you know, he dropped about 84 points yesterday in the gameplay. If you didn't see that, make sure to check it out. Incredible post game, great shooting, great driving dunk, great ball handle. Good defense, decent rebounding, good speed and lateral quickness as well. And look at these badges, 43 Hall of Fames, 25 golds. He's missing rebound chaser, but that is not too important at all. Like, look at all these badges. That's crazy. Next up, this Galaxy Opal James Worthy. I think I may have better power forwards and small forwards. Scotty Pippen would be in there, as well as Josh Smith, but I just don't like their releases. So yeah, this James Worthy, as you know, he's pretty good at everything. 30 Hall of Fames, 28 golds, not bad for a card that was released two months ago. Next up, I've got Galaxy Opal Hakeem Milage, one seven foot tall. Great post game, great shooting for a center, 
Good ball, handle and passing. Incredible defense. He's one of the best defenders in the game. Incredible rebounding. Great speed and lateral quickness. And his badges, he's not really missing much. 44 Hall of Fames, 15 golds. Range extender, quick draw, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, intimidator, flexible release. I won't really go over the badges with these cards because they aren't really missing a lot. Um, so now on to my bench. I've got this Galaxy Opal James Harden off the bench. Six foot five. No diamond contract yet. I'll see if I put one on him. But there's so many good cards coming out. He can do so much. Driving dunk of only 84. That's pretty low compared to other Opals. Although it's still great on a card. Um, he used to only have gold quick draw and that's when I didn't have him so I've never used his release with gold quick draw. However with Hall of Fame his release is money. Now this Dr. J I hardly use him for anything but shooting in the corner. That's why I don't have a diamond contract on him. He can do everything as you can see by these stats. I believe he doesn't have any stats under 80. It doesn't look like he does anyway. But yeah, he is so good. I've played way more games with these cards. It's just because I quit out at the end of the game and stuff. So the next player is this Brandon Roy. He's a Galaxy Opal shooting guard, as you know. He has a decent post game although like that doesn't matter too much great shooting incredible driving dunk but the same with almost every opal is that they don't have many weaknesses um he has diamond contract as well although now there's so many better players he's still a great shooter though the only weakness with him is that he doesn't have unpluckable, I believe, and that means he loses the ball a ton in games. He does have pick dodge and stuff, but without that badge, it can affect you lots um, from being able to dribble. Next up is this Phil Bailey. The only reason he's on my best squad is because, obviously, I'm not... This team is 0MT and 4 of Opals. But great animations mostly. Yes, yeah, stats don't look like game-breaking, but he is game-breaking. A 6 foot 11 small forward that can play the power forward. That's where he will have the speed advantage, although he has a height advantage at the small forward. He has shooting badges driving badges um he has gold range extender as well and his release is money gold quick draw also floor general all those point guard badges and center badges on him next up is this arvida sabonis i do have other centers i could put on the team such as wilt but wilt's the worst center in the game almost for me I mean, I would probably run who Emerald Ju Kui over him, Sean Bradley definitely, like Sapphire, Rafe LaFrance. I just hate this world. He cannot shoot. But Arvida Sabonis, seven foot three, great post game and shooting stat. Good dunk and stuff. Not good ball handle though. Decent defense, great defense interior and stuff, but not great anywhere else. Terrible speed and lateral quickness. He does have steady shooter on Hall of Fame, and he, yeah, 
He doesn't have clamps or he has a lot of defensive badges but no clamps or anything but range extender and quick draw make him good. He has a silver badge chase down artist and that's a bit strange. Next up is a skill bit arena 6 foot 3. Um, incredible shooting, great driving dunk. His defense is okay. Well, great perimeter defense and steal, but interior defense isn't great. Good rebounding though, and incredible speed and lateral quickness. And as you know, he will have a lot of important badges such as floor general, difficult shots, range extender, quick draw with base 11 on Hall of Fame. Green Machine, Flexible Release, Dimer, Pickpocket, Pick Dodger, Clamps, Unpluckable, Intimidator, Pogo Stick, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Quick First Step, Handles for Days. He is an insane card. Um, not a must get card, but if you are going no money spent, maybe you should grind for some of these cards. Next up is this token reward Zach Levine, six foot five, and he is literally a Brandon Roy clone that can play for point guard and is one inch shorter. He also has no unpluckable, that's why I don't use him too much. Thirty four Hall of Fame, so not too bad. Um he's still a great card. Yeah, I don't think he has unpluckable. So he has the same release as Brandon Roy as well. So he is still a great card. Just any opals with weaknesses immediately makes him worse than other opals. And the last card I have on this god squad is a strange choice. It's Kevin Porter Jr. Diamond, but... I've got his release down. It's probably one of my favourite releases in the game. Um, obviously his stats look quite good. Not as good as the Opals though. And he has so many badges such as Range Extender, Quick First Step, Clamps, Gold Quick Draw I believe. But he doesn't have anything any major weaknesses in my opinion and that's why I have him on the squad so yeah that is a video thank you for watching please like and subscribe as well as follow me on twitter twitch and instagram bye